guys, it's Ray Alvarez, Shoot With Ray, and today we have a special guest. We have our good friend and photographer, Carolina, where you at? What's up? What's up? We're filming together, we're creating together. She came to visit, we're so excited. We have Kay in the back, hey. And for Hispanic Heritage Month, we have the Puerto Rican flag back there. Our good friend let us borrow it uh, for this shoot because sadly enough, we don't own a Puerto Rican flag. Like, what? I don't know, but yeah. So we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be shooting here, um, and I'm gonna be explaining the process, the lighting, and the setup, and everything. And then we're also gonna be working with Carolina. She's gonna be shooting. She's gonna explain her process and everything. Stay tuned. So as you know, this month is Hispanic Heritage Month and we're celebrating Hispanic culture by making a photo shoot. We came up with this concept because we wanted to shoot together. We wanted to collaborate a little bit and hang out as friends and also create some content just for you guys. So the theme for this photo shoot is Puerto Rico and I want to celebrate Hispanic culture just by creating art. So originally our plan was to shoot in uh, the studio, but we didn't get a chance to do that as we had a few things that we had to do. So we ended up shooting in my house. Uh, Carolina came over, we had a blast, we had some good times, and we got creative and we ended up shooting. Carolina wanted to work with us and learn about the creative process that Kay and I have when it comes to creating. So what we did was we started off with a yellow backdrop, something simple. Um, we didn't really know what we wanted to do. Like I've said before in the past, and I've said this at a lot of my workshops, Kay and I usually just come up with random ideas, or maybe we come up with a general topic or a theme, and then from there, we build. We're gonna build a shoot, build a light, play around with the settings, her up to where I need her place, build the lighting, camera settings. We're doing what I like to call build the shot or build the lighting. So she created her makeup look, and then we started to come up with an idea, come up with a concept, right? So generally, I really didn't know what to do at that moment. I wanted to kind of give it a theme, play with some colors. Um, we were waiting for the flag to come in from our friend. And once that flag arrived, we ended up getting inspired. And that's exactly when I got inspired and all the creative juices in here were basically flowing. So as you can see, I started setting up the yellow backdrop with the C stand and everything, and then we ended up testing it out. Once I knew that I didn't want to go with the yellow backdrop, I ended up using whatever I had available to me at that moment to prop up the flag in a certain way where it you know, looked wavy and it looked like it was waving so we can freeze that motion. I didn't want a, just a flat flag just hanging there looking presidential or anything like that. So since K was the key subject in this photo shoot, I ended up knowing that I wanted to make sure that I can light her, but at the same time, light the flag, which would be my backdrop. So I already knew that I wanted to use gels. So I went to my case and I ended up getting my mag gels. I ended up using two AD200s, one on one side, one on her other side. One will have a red gel and one will have a blue gel. So that way the blue and the red can sort of just give her a kiss of light right on her shoulder on both sides and also on her hair. Prior to setting up anything with lighting and modifiers and things like that, I had a seven foot umbrella in the background, which was going to be my key light. Once I realized that the light was spilling and it was all over the flag, I wanted to control the light more. So I ended up getting a 20 inch beauty dish. This beauty dish will serve as my key light simply to light K on her left profile. And also it was angled down so that way the light can touch the reflector and then bring back some light into the shadows under her neck area and in this area. And also, like I always say, give her some beautiful catch lights in the eyes. All right, guys, I had to pause this video real quick just to shout out the fact that I have a merch store where you can buy presets and all of the things that I use to shoot behind the scenes and to edit my photos. For example, this hat. It's a limited edition. So get your merch, get your presets, download them, buy them on my store at shootwithraystore.com. All right, so once we did enough testing and I was happy with my light and the way it was falling on K and the background and a flag, we were ready to shoot. So that's exactly when we started shooting. You see Kay here in her element. She's getting into the groove. We created a lot of content. I kid you not, the photo shoot lasted five minutes for this first look. And guys, I'm excited to share with you the images that we created with this look here. This is the final edit of our first look for the Puerto Rican themed shoot for Hispanic Heritage Month. What do you guys think? Leave me some feedback in the comments below. I wanna know what you think about this shoot, what you think about this first look. Now, let's get into the second look. 
We used a similar setup to the first look. However, this time I kind of moved the flag a little bit more. I angled it just to give it that effect that it was moving. Kay was using a different look. This time she was using more of a spiritual Taino Indian uh, look. She wanted to stand strong and proud and she wanted to look prideful of her being Puerto Rican. One of the things I wanna point out is that the flag that we borrowed, the blue on it was not the right color of the Puerto Rican flag. I'm not sure why, but again, you can't complain. Beggars can't be choosers. We were given a flag to use for this photo shoot and we were very thankful for it. So knowing that the blue was not the right blue, I wanted to make sure that in post, I was going to change the color of that blue in the flag. So we ended up wrapping up the shoot. We gave Carolina her turn. And at the end of this video, make sure you go to Carolina's page, show her some love, subscribe to her channel, and check out the video from her version of this shoot. So that way you guys can enjoy that too. All right, guys, there you have it. We just completed the shoot. You saw what we created with Kay and Carolina. You saw both looks that we created. We had a lot of fun doing this. I also want to give a special shout out to Carolina Waldorf Photo. Check out her channel and her links below in the description where you can see a lot of her work, what we created today, and a lot of other collaborations with great photographers around the nation. Leave us some love in the comments. Give this video a like, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.